It's typical fishing weather, just not the kind you would expect over the southern atolls of the Maldives. Undaunted, the vessel Fahir Oadi and its fishing master Ahmed Didi make their way through the rolling waves for their daily catch of tuna. This may be a modern ship, but the technique used by its fishermen, pulling up the tuna with a simple pole and line, is as old as fishing itself. Poland line fishing is a selective and therefore more sustainable way to catch tuna. Only fish of a certain size are caught, leaving juveniles to grow to spawning age and replenish the stock in the future. Small bait fish are thrown over the side of the boat to lure the tuna to the water surface. The fishermen use the acceleration of the fish as they race to get their prey, hook them and fling them onto the ship's flat deck. The Maldivian tuna fishery forms a sharp contrast to how most tuna is caught elsewhere. Being one of the world's most favored fish, tuna stocks are being heavily overfished around the globe. Here in the Pacific, one of the world's largest remaining tuna fishing grounds, most skipjack is caught by a method known as purse sailing. A large net is drawn around a school of fish by a skiff and then tightened from the bottom like a purse. Such a net, often set on a floating fish aggregation device, catches the entire school of tuna, but also takes in all the juvenile fish and non-target species, such as sharks, that may be swimming with the tuna. The sheer volume of bycatch lifted from the region by Persanas makes this fishing method highly unsustainable. Moreover, these industrial vessels, some of them operating illegally, come to fish Pacific waters from half the world away. By contrast, the Maldivian pole and line boats are owned by cooperatives of local fishermen who all fairly share the profits of their daily catch. Unlike most Pacific nations, the Maldives are letting its own fleet fish its waters to keep the tuna revenue within the country. Felivaru, in the North Atolls, is home to one of the country's own tuna canneries. It's a modern fish processing plant operating to the strictest regulations of health and safety. Both fishing and fish processing are vital to the Maldives' economy and provide crucial local employment. There are around 500 local people working in this plant. That means 500 families, local families, are looked after. And for fishermen, we pay cash daily. So compared to other industries, what we get from um, for, for the company is very well distributed through the community. It's often the profit margin that forms the biggest stumbling block for environmentally responsible and sustainable food products. Fish Forever, distributed by Organico Real Foods in the United Kingdom, is one of the brands marketing the Maldivian pole and line tuna in Europe. Its managing director, Charles Redfern, believes retailers should take a greater responsibility in promoting sustainable fish products. They just say this is a buying option. And that's the wrong way to go because you're basically saying that these are lifestyle choices, that ethical decisions are lifestyle choices, and they're not. They're critical choices about how we want our products, our food to be produced. So I would like to see the retailers um, maybe being less neutral about this and actually working very hard to push it. At the moment, Cans of pole and line caught tuna, harvested by Maldivian fishermen, are sold alongside the competition, fished industrially by foreign fleets in the Pacific. Being more labor intensive and at higher production costs, the Maldivian tuna is having a hard time competing. We hope that people in other countries will realize that we are doing something for the sustainability. And we hope that one day we, people will pay more for our fish. But today, the reality is we get the same price as per sand fishing and pole line fishing. There is no difference. In the end, we will have no choice.
if we want to run the factory, if we want to do this, we have to go for what everyone else is doing. Just go for the person. In the absence of sustainable fisheries management for the Indian Ocean, the Maldivian tuna could come under pressure in the future. For the time being, however, the tuna caught here by Paul and Line forms one of the most sustainable, fair and transparent seafood products available today. But these fishermen can only stay afloat if both retailers and consumers make the choices that support them and their ancient way of fishing.